Major George Hackbarth is the relatively new officer in charge at the Covington Salvation Army. And Major, despite having your belt ringers out in force this year, it looks like the proceeds so far have been a little bit short of expectations. Yes, um, Jerry, most of the um, stores allow us to ring the bells after Thanksgiving. Well, Thanksgiving last year was November 22nd. This year it's November 28th, so we actually are starting to ring the bells a whole week later than when we um, did last year. So we are falling a little bit short because of that one week difference. You lost six days or seven days. I don't know how you become a bell ringer. I guess they're just volunteers, but I mean, we're delighted to see them all over the place. Mm -hmm. How many different places do you have where bell ringers are? Well, I have Walmart. Um, here in Covington and in Lexington, and I have the Kroger and Clifton Forge in Lexington, and the Food Lion in Covington and in Lexington. So I guess when we see you, uh, it would be nice if instead of the few dollars, we could drop in a 10 or a 20 as opposed to, you know, a few coins, huh? That would help us out, definitely. Now, your goal, I think you indicated this year, was about $50,000, and you're a little bit short. People are asked for money, all kinds of solicitations, email and all this, and they probably would like to know, when you reach your goal, what happens to the money? Well, the money stays here locally. We have a caseworker that works full time and she sees clients um, five days a week for emergency assistance with utility bills, rent. We have a food pantry. We also give out clothing vouchers and furniture vouchers for people to use. So that is one of the big issues where, um, where most of the money goes to and helps pay for her salary as well. But we also have youth programs that we do. I teach guitar lessons and uh, music uh, lessons to kids and we have our own type of scouting program as well and um, so we do a lot of different things in the area um, we're providing toys to 217 kids this year wow and a hundred of them are from Rockbridge County because we're in charge of that as well okay and then I think it's t 107 families they all get brand new toys usually about four or five or six toys and then each family gets um, a food box with a gift card Wow, that's really nice. And you know, you've replaced Major Kim Feinauer, mm -hmm. and I, I believe it, if we wanted to get a little bit of background on you, we're used to seeing Kim around and having a, a like a Christmas band or a, a group of views playing at various things, but you're musical as well. Yes, I'm not quite as good with the horn as he <laughs> was, and we do have a, a little band but they weren't quite uh, good enough to play out in the public that much. We did have a concert at our building. I'm a guitar player, so I play a lot more guitar. And you teach you teach lessons yes, as well? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, members of the public, if you have a chance, when you see the bell ringers at Kroger or Walmart, the Salvation Army has a decades-long reputation of serving the community, and I believe the organization would just need a few more bucks. Yes, definitely can use a lot more money. Thanks very much for joining us. All right, thank you very much.